this question, we have a stoplight that, way, that has a mass of 30 kilograms, and it's being suspended. Um, it's, of course, at rest. So the net force is zero. And this is a two-dimensional problem where we have our x direction, like so, and we have our z direction, like this. And they're important to notice they don't want us to work out and get a numerical answer. So the first thing is they want us to draw the forces, not the components that act on the stoplight. I mean, remember we've emphasized that throughout the course, that you can't draw the components and the force at the same time, otherwise you're drawing the force twice. So here is our, our point of contact, the top of the light, and what is happening at that point is there is the force of gravity, the weight of the 30 kilogram light. There is a tension like this, which I will call FT37, because this, this triangle gets broken like so, and that if this angle is 53 and that's a right angle, this is 37, and this is 53. Because 53 and 37 is 90, and 53 and 37 is 90. So we're going to call the actual angle that we'll use the trigonometry on the, the angle, not the angle that's, that's listed. And then we have FT53. So that's part one. We want to derive two equations that can be solved for the tension in each rope. And those two equations are about X and Z. Um... <clears throat> Use the space below, don't add anything to the figure up above because we don't want to conflate it. So we can have our FT53 separate diagram. And this is what we'll call FT53. And this is then FT53X. And this is FT53Z. And we then have our, our compatriot triangle, FT37, which has a vertical component. And that vertical component is FT37Z. And this is FT37X. So we will write our Newton's second law equations. Um, so we have the net force, which is equal to the sum of the forces. And we'll do the, let's do the, uh, and them in color, the right color. It matches, so we'll do the 37 triangle first. So we'll figure out the two sides. We have sine of 53 is going to be FT53X all over FT53, and therefore, FT53X is going to be FT53 sine 53. And by that same token, then you can see that FT53Z will be equal to FT53 cosine 53. So those are two equations we have there. And for the blue side, of course, we... Imagine that they will be the same kinds of equations. We have FT37X, which will be FT, FT37 times the sine of 37, and FT37Z will be equal to FT37 cosine 37. So those are our our components. The next thing we need to do is write out equations for each of these sets of phenomena, the X and the Y, which we'll do on the next page.
guess we're not going to be able to do that. All right, so now we're going to do our, we'll do our x direction. So the sum of the forces in the F, the net force in the x direction is going to be the sum of the forces in the x direction. And we have MA, and in the x direction we had FT thirty seven sine thirty seven, and we had FT fifty three sine fifty three. The acceleration is zero, so then we see that FT37 sine 37 is equal and opposite to FT53 sine 53. So here is one equation. The next equations we'll do are for Z. And in the Z direction, we have the net force is the sum of the forces in the Z direction. And we have MA, of course. And in the Z direction, we have FG2, or FG, the weight. And we have FT37Z and FT53Z. The acceleration is zero. So what we see then is that the force of gravity is equal and opposite to FT37Z plus FT53Z. And those expressions, FT37Z is FT37 cosine 37 and for the 53, we have FT 53 cosine 53. That is equal to mg. So we have two equations that can help us here. Going back to our assignment here, we have, um, and don't do it, so let's see, to assist, we can draw other pictures, don't add anything. In the derived equations, circle the variables that are unknown and check mark those that are given or fundamental. So circle those that are unknown. FT37 is unknown. FT53 is unknown. Sine 37 is known and sine 53 is known. Down here, M is known, G is known, FT37 is unknown. And FT35 are, uh, is unknown. And cosine 37 and cosine 53 are known. So in the top, we have two unknowns. And in the bottom, we have two unknowns. But those unknowns are the same. FT53, FT37... So, of course, we can, what we would do is solve for one of them in the easier equation, which in this case is simpler, and substitute. So we would solve for one of these two up here, substitute that in down here, and then we can get our answer. But we're not asked to do that. That's how we approach that question.